Hello everybody. <laughs> Hello everybody. Have you ever watched a movie and there's a scene that shows a heart rhythm? Are you sure you're okay, Norbert? That sounds kind of fast. So before I studied cardiology, I always used to wonder, what is that? How do you know if there's something wrong with the heart just by looking at some weird lines? It didn't make any sense to me. This is the heart rhythm of my last patient who had a heart attack. Just by looking at this, I was like, if you focus and watch this video till the end, you're gonna be able to read heart rhythms. I'm gonna teach you the basics. It's pretty easy. Let's start. Okay, so your heart looks like looks like this. A quick fact about your heart, if it stops, you die. Unless you have a cool friend and that friend happens to know CPR and conducts CPR on you and saves your life. If you don't know how to do CPR, I posted a video about CPR on both my Instagram and YouTube. Check them out. Maybe like it. Yes! Just a side note, many people think when they see something like this, Oh, he just had a heart attack. When a heart stops, that's called cardiac arrest. It's not a heart attack, it's called cardiac arrest. I'm editing the video and there's something wrong with the audio. So a heart attack means that there's a segment of the heart that died. Why did it die? Because there's probably a blockage in one of the arteries that supplies blood to that part of the oxygen, to that part of the heart. No blood, that means that there's no oxygen, no oxygen for around 20 minutes that causes death of the tissue. Death of the tissue equals heart attack. That's it, back to the video. I assume we all know how the heart works I'm just gonna go over it quickly to so make sure we're all on the same page So this is your heart this part of your heart is called the right atrium This is the left atrium these parts are the ventricles right ventricle left ventricle the right side of your heart Gets blood from your body, which is poor in oxygen it comes from here and Then it goes to your lungs and then your blood gets some oxygen comes back left ventricle and then it pumps to your entire body because your body needs oxygen to function right and this is how it goes if you have a stethoscope and you listen to your heart it's gonna sound something like this lub dub lub dub lub dub okay now we need to focus because we're gonna talk about heart rhythms and i'm gonna make it super simple so this is your heart, your heart is a muscle. What makes it contract and pump is electricity. Just zoom out for a bit. So for a normal looking heart, the electricity starts from here and then travels from here to here. It stops here for a little bit and then it travels through the ventricles, this side and this side. If there's electricity here, the atrium is gonna contract. And the electricity comes from here to here and then it's gonna stop for a little bit. Why does it stop here? Just to allow all the blood to come from the atriums to the ventricles. Then the electricity comes down here to the ventricles and what's gonna happen when the electricity comes here? Both ventricles are gonna contract. It's pretty easy. Electricity here, this is gonna pump. Electricity here, this is gonna pump. So this is one of the devices that measures the electricity in your heart, or in other words, ECG, electrocardiogram. Out of these devices, you're gonna see cables and on the end of the cables there's stickers so you stick these stickers on your body and you're going to measure your ECG now if there's electricity here what you're going to see on a heart rhythm is a very small bump something like this and this tells you that the atrium contracted then there's a straight line after the bump why is there a straight line because there's a little bit of a delay here right because you need some time for all the blood to go from the atrium to the ventricles so there's going to be a straight line after that the electricity goes down to the ventricles what you're going to see here on the ecg you're going to see a big bump something like this why is there a big bump here? Because the ventricles are bigger and stronger. Now, because the ventricles are bigger and there was a big contraction, that relaxation gives you another bump. And this is what a single heartbeat looks like. And this keeps repeating over and over around 100,000 times a day. Now, obviously, there's a lot of more detail, but I wanted to make it as easy as possible. Now let's see if you got it. I want to ask you a couple of questions. So what if, what if you look at a heart rhythm and you don't see the first bump? There's no bump. What's happening 
to the heart. This means obviously that there's no electricity in the atrium, so there's something wrong right here. So the electricity starts from here. So now you know just by looking at the heart rhythm that there's something wrong in the atrium. Okay, so what if there is a bump, but then the line after the first bump, there is a long line and then ventricle contraction. So what does this mean? This means that the electricity right here, the delay here is longer than normal. So there's something wrong here. Is this too much information? I try to make it as easy as possible, but we're done. We're done for today. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments section. And uh, if you like this video, if you find it useful, please share it. It really helps. That's all I have for now. See you until next time.